you want to download some images from the internet you will open up your browser search for the images select the image right click on it take it to the required folder give it a name and that's how you're going to save the file if you are doing this for multiple images you will have to do this process over and over again there has to be a simpler way of doing this task in this video we will be looking at five Chrome extensions that can make this task a little simpler so let us go and have a look We are always looking for images from the internet for our projects. These may be of different formats like JPEG, PNGs, SVGs and may be of different sizes. Now that can be a huge task. So we have rounded up 5 Chrome extensions that can do this task easily for you, giving you a bit more control and flexibility. At number 5, we have chosen a very simple Chrome extension, Download All Images. The link for this Chrome extension is in the description. You have to add this to Chrome, add this extension, and once it is loaded, then you can open up a new tab, look for the images, Once you are happy with this, you can go into the extension area and activate this extension. You may have to load this page up and down so that more and more images can be loaded into the memory. Once you are happy with this, you can click download and this will start downloading and start packing up all the images found on the page into a zip folder and this will download this folder to your computer after it is downloaded you can unzip it and use your required images nice and simple if you need to download bulk of images with a click of button. At number 4 we have Pick Grabber. The link for this extension is given in the description or you can search for this on the internet. Search for the word Pick Grabber Chrome extension on the net click to add to Chrome and add the extension now you could open up a new tab for your images just scroll down the page for more images to be loaded and activate this extension A new window will pop up and the extension will display all the images that are loaded in the memory. Now this is going to give you a little bit more flexibility. The option of download all images is available on the top. Or you can individually select and click on an image and a single image will be downloaded. 
by default all the images are downloaded in the download folder. At number 3 we have image i another chrome extension the link for this is given in the description if you are searching on the internet search for image i chrome extension like all the extensions you have to add it to chrome add extension and it is ready to use now you can open up a new tab where you can search for the images you required in my case I will refresh the page so that the extension can load the images to its memory now you can activate the extension in this case it has found about 250 images the thumbnails for these images are displayed underneath this you can see that there are URL where the images are located it also displays the format of the image and the size next to it you can now select the images that you like and these will be added to download once you have made the selection these can be downloaded to your download folder on your computer The extension have a couple more features. Here you can specify the folder on the URL and the images will be downloaded in the separate folders. You can also use this filter to filter the images based on their sizes. You can adjust the size here using the slider and the images will be filter according to the size you can also search based on the image format like PNG JPEG or SVG and the extension will now display images based on your selection You can now select the images individually or download all images selected and these will be downloaded in the download folder. At number 2, we have Fatkun Batch Download Image. The link for this extension is given in the description. This is another Chrome extension with some extra controls and filters and features. First, you will add this to Chrome like all the extensions. it is now loaded into Chrome. Search for your images scroll the page up and down so that images are loaded into the memory now you can go into the extension area and activate this extension 
this will open up the images found into a different into an extra tab and over here you have a bit more controls you can adjust the width of these images it has found all the images you can adjust the width here so that the images are filtered You can also rename these images so that when they get downloaded they have a, the generic image or the name that you have selected. By default all the images are selected but you can click any of the image that you do not want to be part of the selection and once you press the download button all the selected images will be downloaded or you can toggle your selection to have an inverse effect You can also make a selection of the sizes here. By this selection it will select a different size of the images. Clicking this button it will select the bigger size and all those images of those size will be filtered here. As before you can select by default all the images are selected or you can deselect any of these and once you are happy with this you can download those images. So this extension gives you quite a lot of controls and based on your selection it is going to filter all those images in the folder and the subfolder if you require. As you can see it has created a folder in the download folder and the images are filtered in the subfolders. At number one we have Image Assistant, another Chrome extension. The link for this is given in the description. If you are looking on the internet, look for Image Assistant, Chrome extension. Like all the extensions, you will have to add it to Chrome, add this extension and now it is ready to be used. Now you can open up a new tab and search for your images. When you are ready you can activate this extension and once you press the extract button it is going to put all those images found based on their sizes in this extra extra tab. Now you have a lot more controls over here. It has already filter these images based on their types, based on the resolutions and different sizes. You can make the selection here and whatever size you click on the images will be filtered based on your selection. Over here you have different formats or types JPEGs, PNGs and whatever different formats and types it found it is going to filter those and put those in their extra particular tabs.
Once you are ready, you can click on the image and it is going to open that image into a separate tab. What we found that in order to make your selection, you have to click and drag so that the image is selected. Once you are ready for download, you can click on download selected and when you are saving, you have a bit more control, quite a few of adjustments that you can make. All these images can be separated into different folders. You can assign different, it will, it will come with the stamp date and time and you can make a quite a lot of changes to this here once you are happy and ready you can just click this and it will start downloading all the images and it will separate those based on based on your safe path so in this case it has created a separate folder it is from the google search it has stamped the date and the time and all these images in it is expected folder So I hope this has been useful for you and thank you for watching this video and we shall see you in the next video.